Who do you think they said was their biggest fan? That wasn't me. Well, what I like most about dance is obviously dancing. I just feel like nobody's like judging, nobody cares, and I just feel free from everything and I'm in my own little world. Probably the competitions, because they're really good fun. Like winning medals or even coming last is still fun because you went out to the competition and you tried your best. What's the best thing about having your parents support you? Makes me feel really happy and warm inside. Like I could do anything and really confident. If I have a really good or really bad piece, I'll look over in the crowd and I'll just see a smile in no matter what. It feels important to teach children that actually being present is the important thing. Taking part is the important thing. If you lose, it's just something to improve on and that's okay. If a child or a person hears their kind of name getting called out in a good way, it helps them do a little better. They know they've got someone there to perform for. But then obviously when you've got the bad ones, it kind of has the opposite effect. When they're saying something horrible about me, it just makes me feel sad. When parents sort of say things that could be quite negative, it can really feel like quite a toxic thing to pass on to their children as well. And it can be devastating and you could lose a potential Olympic champion. It's not good spirit and it's this negative energy that I don't like to be around. You get hugs or anything if it's been a rough one. You usually get a hug, don't you? Yeah. Sometimes we go, we get a little treat. But it's great to really sort of talk to her about the game afterwards in the car and really encouraging sort of thinking about those good bits. So even if they do lose, like what was the good bit about it? What did they do really well? You know, where have they played together really well and, and how they made each other feel as well. Do you think you'd be able to spot a negative or abusive coach? Yeah, I think so. I would see the signs with him not wanting to go to classes, not wanting to leave his room potentially, and his whole positive vibe on dance classes changing. Who do you think Sean said was his biggest fan? Me. I think Sean said that I was his biggest fan. Sean, what'd you say? Mum. I said mum. <laughs> Exactly that. Exactly. <laughs> Isabel's biggest fan is her little sister. There are rules in the arena that you are not meant to shout and cheer, but you can't tell a very cute five-year-old off for that. <laughs> that wasn't me. Yeah. Oh, I... <laughs> How do you know Mum's your biggest fan? Because she does all the hard work for me every single day. She's always there. She's just always there supporting me. Always smiling and like being loud and cheering after a good throw. Yeah, I do shout at after a good throw, sorry. <laughs> Knowing that there's someone there to push you further and encourage you to carry on doing what you're doing. I want to thank you, Mum, for working very hard for me, for my sister and for my dad. <laughs> Thanks for always being supportive and there for me. I just love everything about sport. I think it helps kids in all walks of life. I can tell he loves it. It brings us together. It's something we can all talk about, something we can all get involved in. It just makes me smile.